Hello, welcome to my little review on the NVIDIA Shield. At this moment in time I've just got a setup in front and in the back at the moment I've got a uh, keyboard and mouse, the internet cable, the um, HDMI cable and obviously the power cable. They're all going behind here but everything is hidden behind my 4k TV and this is it when it switches on so I'll just show you it again switching off and then back on and it's in 3840 by 2160 alrighty and now we're gonna to go to the controller this is the controller I haven't switched on yet. All right, now the controller's on. All right, but the main thing is what it does. I installed Kodi. I just wanted to show you the Kodi setup. Okay, I'll just move across to oops, oops one. move across to movies, HD movies. Okay. okay, these are all in 1080p, have a quick look at Warcraft, you can move it forward at any stage, put it to one hour for forward, there you go, it just jumps straight to it. Plus another ten, plus another three, plus another twenty, and there you go. You see the Cody has all the TV shows. You just click on the popular. Shows a little picture of it on the right hand side. All the box sets. There's Game of Thrones, so if I click on it once. I'll come up with season one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that probably tells you what quality they're in. Although it doesn't see it, but works. HD. And I think that was approximately five or six seconds, maybe ten at the most. But I'll move it forward to five, it's instant. Move it forward to twenty, instant. Move it all, all the way right to the end. But as you see, good quality. Alright, as I say, I bought the £150 version. Um, I think it's with 16 gigabytes internal storage. I've just bought a 32 gigabyte stick. I don't think it's worth paying for the 500 gigabyte storage and I definitely don't think it's worth having the remote because everything can be done through the gamepad and that includes voice command hello Google so instantly it says hello Google today It'll go to anything that I asked for um, 77 th jso oh gee go well there's the 77 jsoc with noise's latest video Uh, this is on my surround sound system at the moment, going through the 4K TV. And there you just seen a flicker. Twice. So I'm going to see what that is on settings in a minute.
I'm just going to pause it and go out of this. All right, I've just checked on something online. Um, got to go into the HDMI. Resolution. And take it off to 4K for the time being. This is just from a few reviews I've read. Some of the lads saying um, they're getting flickering between the mon dead monitors or TV screens. And it might be something to do with the driver. So I'm going to stay on 1080p for the time being on this. Which is still good enough. Dead easy, as I say, everything on this is so simple. Let's go back to the game stream. I had War Thunder, I'm going to quit that. That's gone off. Go back into Steam. Okay, so you can manually adjust your optimizers. Oh, not again. All right, uh, just allow access but for the time being. I don't want you on. Right. Oh, this is me war hammer total war, which I've uh, quite enjoyed playing. I'll be getting the next. Um, Add on for it, which is at the end of July. Okay. I'm just going to click escape because everyone knows the intro to it. At the moment, I've got an old keyboard and mouse plugged in. Well, my mouse is my gaming mouse from upstairs, but um, let's just see what happens on a new campaign. Go green skins, continue. Let's go. Okay, so skip this if I can. I'm gonna pause it while this holds file up quite quick. All right, so as you can see, it's smooth. It runs, everything runs great. This is just streaming from the main PC upstairs, so it depends on your PC upstairs now how good the connection will be, I suppose, along with your internet. But this is LAN, a LAN connection, Ethernet LAN, which goes directly into my router. My PC has a router connection, and my Shield has a router connection. So I've used four of them up now. The other two are going into my smart TVs, including this one, which... It's a bit redundant now because everything's going to be going through the shield. But this is just to show the movement. There you go, that's me moving the mouse around. I just click on that bleeding there and get that off. Alright, so that's who I've got to fight. Blah, blah, blah. End of that. Well, as I said, this is a uh, sim from my main PC upstairs. Click on my character. Now, with the joypad, say I wanted to check on something, like what the objectives are or whatever. 
is the gamepad. I'm obviously using a keyboard and mouse for this game because it's very keyboard orientated. But as you see up the moment at the top, it's come up with uh, you can go to the Steam, to the keyboard, quit the game. So I'll just click on to go to Steam. And it's bringing me out the game as usual so that you can go to any other things. I can just click back again. Goes back into the game. So it's handy. As I said, the joypad is a really good piece of kit. It's got a microphone on it so that you can speak into it and get what you want. It's got a port for your headset, which supports the mic. Obviously, the other part where it's green is the charger. The controller is solid. It's really nice. Definitely recommend it. But as I've said, I have plugged in an old keyboard, and this keyboard must be over 12, maybe 15 years old. It's an old Zedmech uh, keyboard, gaming keyboard, and it works perfectly fine. I've actually got my mouse plugged straight in from upstairs, my G400S Logitech, and that's working straight away. So... There isn't any negatives except for the 4K thing at the moment. It seems to be uh, juddering, a little bit of a judder. But it's something to do with the drivers. So hopefully that will be solved on the next update. As the update was a recent one. So, thanks for looking. Hope I'm educated yet. I'm going to go back onto this. I'm going to give this another 10 minutes and see... Uh, how it runs to see if there's any crashes. If there is, I'll let you know. Again, thanks again. Bye-bye.